Today we're going to do a 30 minute full body barbell workout focusing on compound lifts only. I've got my barbell loaded to 40 kilos, that's about 88 pounds total weight. We're going to use one pair of 17 and a half kilo dumbbells, that's about 38 pounds each. But make do with what you've got and what's right for you. First up though, let's kick off the workout with a brief bodyweight warm up. This warm up consists of four exercises, 30 seconds each, linking one straight into the other for two rounds, starting nice and simply with some bodyweight squats. So if you start off with your feet about shoulder width apart, you can have a slight turn out to the toes. I'm going to turn the knees out to match. So squatting down, pull that, and then back up. Imagine you're sitting your glutes down between your heels, keeping a relatively upright posture with the torso. You should maintain contact with the floor with your heels. I'm going to link this straight into some inchworms, hinge at the hip. You're going to hinge, reach, walk out. Walk back, touch your toes, and reset. You're going to minimize any bending of the legs. Next, you're going to walk into that press up position. We're going to go one leg up and rotate for these Spider-Man lunges, alternating sides. Straighten up through the back leg, turning towards the front leg. After this, we'll be lying on your back. There's some wipers. Knees up. Dropping side to side. So you've got a 90 degree angle at the knees. I want you to keep the opposite shoulder blade pinned to the floor as you drop your legs away from it. You shouldn't be going all the way, probably just two thirds of the way down will be enough for most people if you're maintaining that shoulder contact. Okay, straight back to your feet and straight back into those squats this second round. Get ready for the inchworms. You can hold this presser position, take one foot up, turn towards that front leg, opening out the chest and upper back, straightening the back leg, feeling a nice hip flexor stretch. Get ready to go into those wipers. All right, so you've got a chance to load your barbell. As I said, I've got 40 kilos. That's about 88 pounds total weight. We're gonna be doing four exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off for three rounds. Starting with a barbell pendley row. 
that's going to be coming off the floor and back down. But if you haven't got these large diameter plates, then you can just do a barbell bent over row in a hovering position instead. So the pendley row, it's going to be a power pull. I'm going to have a brief pause on the floor in between reps. If you're in the bent over row, you'll just do continuous wet reps with a slightly lighter weight. So you're trying to keep your torso as still as possible. Whilst you do the rep, take a fresh breathing brace for every rep. Pulling the bar up till it makes contact with your upper abs. Okay, lying on your back now. Grab your dumbbells. You're gonna be doing a floor press. You're gonna have your elbows out as if you've got a bench press position. So from a bird's eye view down, from your torso out to the elbows, you should be making more of an arrow shape, not a T shape. So although we're not tucking the elbows in directly towards the sides, we're also not flaring them out into that T shape. So you've got maybe even a quarter turn on the dumbbells as you soften the elbows in slightly. And that'll give you a healthier shoulder position. Okay, back to the barbell. I'm going to do some nice controlled deadlifts next. So if you start with your shoelaces under the bar, hands gripping the bar just outside the shins, drop down, flatten your back and lift. I like to do a slight reset of my back position at the start of each rep. So I'm gonna take a fresh breath, brace, tuck the shoulders back and down as if I'm putting my shoulder blades into my back pockets. The bar is gonna be pretty much touching my shins just before I lift off the floor. It will clear my knees and then make back contact with my quads at the top. Okay, gonna take one dumbbell now. We're gonna do a single arm strict press for 20 seconds, and then 20 seconds straight away on the other side. If it's too heavy to strict press, you could push press it. I'm gonna go for this strict press. So single arm shoulder press. I like to put a quarter turn on the dumbbell. So at the base, I'm not in a neutral grip or an overhand grip. I'm kind of halfway in between. And then as I press, I'm going to flatten it out towards the front. Switch to the side straight away. No rest, you're going straight into the other arm. Your floor press weight should be a bit heavier than your strict press weight. And that's why we're only doing 20 seconds a side. Great job. So there's one of three rounds done. So get yourself a brief breather and then get ready to go. So you can start back with those pendley rows where the bar's starting and finishing on the floor. Or if you haven't got these big circumference plates, you're gonna be doing a bent over row instead.
grab the dumbbells and go onto the floor for that floor press. If you've got a bench, feel free to do a dumbbell bench press instead. Back to the barbell for those deadlifts. The technique tips, keep your feet parallel to one another. Fairly narrow, you don't need to turn the toes out at all. The bar should start over the knots in your shoelaces. Bend your knees, flatten your back. A deadlift, you should be pressing the floor away and hinging. So it's not a Romanian deadlift, so you should be assisting with your quads by pressing the floor away as you hinge at the hip. Grabbing one dumbbell, getting ready for that strict press. Always finish your rep off. Well done, there's two down, one to go. For the second strength section, we'll be making the barbell a little lighter and changing the exercises. Let's get this final set of each of these finished off. Grab the dumbbells for those floor press.
the deadlifts. Well done. Okay, on to the next section. Same format, but we're gonna use a lightweight. I'm gonna go down to 25 kilos, that's about 55 pounds, and use the same dumbbells. Once you've completed this Lift 2.0 series, are you ready to step things up? If so, check out my combo series consisting of 16 45 minute barbell and dumbbell workouts over four weeks. This is the perfect progression to take your training to a new level. Day one of the combo series is linked in the description of this video. So we're gonna start this next section with the barbell hang power snatch. Or if you find that too tricky, just grab the dumbbell and do an alternating dumbbell snatch. So you're looking down to here, up in one smooth movement. So a hinge just below knee level, driving up, nice wide grip on the bar. Pull the shoulders in tight. Next up, we're gonna do some alternating reverse lunges. You can do these with the bar on your back or just with your body weight. Whatever feels good for you. So alternating reverse steps, making sure the front knee is not collapsing to the center. Getting a nice depth to each lunge. If you're finding that you're not managing to get full depth, then just do it with your body weight. Grab one of your dumbbells. We're gonna do a single arm rail. I'm gonna support one hand on my knee or one elbow on my knee. We're gonna do 20 seconds per side.
quick transition. Next up, taking the dumbbell at your chest. We're gonna do a goblet squat. Getting the heart rate up now. So nice upright posture, pushing the knees out nice and wide. Getting a good depth to every rep. One down, two to go, and that'll be the workout complete. Don't row up in a straight line. Instead, row back slightly towards your pocket, making sure you're getting the lats involved. Quick transition.
Well done. Two down, one to go. And this is actually the last day of my Lift 2.0 series. So if you're on that and you made it this far, well done. Just one more round of those to go and that'll be the whole series complete. One set to go. Let's get these goblet squats done. Let's keep full depth, keep moving throughout the whole timer. And that's a wrap, lift 2.0 barbell series complete. Well done for finishing that, if you followed the whole series. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find it? And where in the world have you been following along from? If you're wondering what to do next, here's day one of that barbell combo series, 16 45 minute workouts over four weeks, a nice progression on from this lift 2.0 series. I'll see you again soon.